We use like about 20 to 30,000 liters of water per month. So it would be good like if not um, shitting in, in drinkable water. Yeah. We're scraping off the mortar in a very unrefined way because we're about to put the brakes back together with more mortar so they can have little chunks on them. Ta da! Uh, we've been the dry toilets. So for this, uh, we have to put a break and uh, creating the, the, the box of the toilets. And um, actually, I uh, put the brick and I use Arganasa, the critical concrete uh, material. And uh, yeah. A dry toilet is one that doesn't use clean water, which is like so wasteful and so excessive. Gross. So gross. Capitalist. <laughs> Why doesn't one zero start there? <laughs> I'm like, oh great, let me just subtract 2.7 from the total. Ice fishing ties, so we can put in our new compost toilet. Uh, we're gonna go for something more aleatoric, a little bit more abstract, some uh, Portuguese colors, um, something inspired but modern, something traditional but uh, rooted in the vernacular. <laughs> <laughs> the best vlogger, I would say. I would say. That's one and a half, almost a little bit more. Let's see. Okay, then you mix it. I, I see. These are rom coms. Oh, my action. Oh, I don't like. I don't know where the Uh, it's, it's very simple, um, like for the end user, it's, it really consists of um, making um, a sponge bed in the bottom uh, composed of branches and, and um, sawdust or some kind of substrate that makes like a, so you make like about a 30 centimeter, 30 to 40 centimeter sponge and, and then like on the side you can see like there is branches on the side as well so we make like a sponge on the side to kind of contain the whole thing. And then we just like every week dump the bucket that we have, the full bucket, we're going to do it now. Uh, we dump the full bucket, um, cover it with cover material. So cover material here in our case, I refer this, uh, to this sawdust. We have plenty of it because we, we have a workshop. Um, in other cases, it might be leaves, might be uh, grass cuttings, might be all kind of cover material that is organic that you can imagine uh, and fills the, um, the purpose of covering the, the, the excrements. Um, here and there it should be completely covered like more like this one. This one is very well um, Is very well covered you can see you have like only cover material on top so like seaweed um, Some weeding some weeds and sawdust. That's all you want to see in a compost and um, It's always very weird like like to be like sitting next to your shit and like be completely comfortable about it Like it's like it's not smelling we have it close to like our living environment. It's and since the day one is not be a problem. One thing that you do before putting it back is very important. Very important. Because otherwise everything gonna stick down <laughs> and it's not good. Exactly. And it gets easier to empty the So the you put like a nice yeah. nice layer of sawdust in the bottom. You have basically different phases. 
the transform the the what you have here into a compost. Mm -hmm. First, like a, a rising in temperature, which is like the mesophilic phase, and then thermophilic phase, like the more hot, and then it cools down and cures. So it's like you have the three phases, and each one of these phases has a different process happening, different biological process happening. Uh, nicely, like check the temperature. It's always like around like 60 to 70 degree. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's very very active because mm -hmm. we put like materials every week. This one is colder. It's like about like 30 to 40 degree, right? I mm -hmm. think you had the look last time. But yeah, so it's all together. In this case, um, also it's very comfortable because the, these beds they're connected to the ground, mm -hmm. so we don't have like the mess with the liquids in the bottom of the compost and so on. Mm -hmm. um, when it gets too hot, because it does the worms go away or like go on the periphery of the of the compost and then come back when the temperature is better. The argument for not mixing is that you when you mix you actually lose a lot of temperature. It's a lot of work uh, because you know the fact that you mix you, you mess up like something that is really hot with an environment that is not. So it's more efficient uh, like for the thermophilic phase to have it like not mixed at all. Uh, self feeding itself so like a circular system in which like your excrement are used to fertilize your soil and, and create more food. Gold, like it was, it was gold for the soil. So it was something that was like part of the process of like, no, you compost your leftovers and you use it to make more food. Um, so it's something that was like part of our uh, uh, vernacular uh, mm -hmm. way of life in many places. Mm -hmm. But at some point went off when we started to live very clustered in cities because then like you need like really good system to work with this uh, when you have like a big agglomeration of people and and then like our solution was like like push it away like water push it away because we had so many disease in the cities so it's kind of the, the story of like not composting goes through like rising of um, of diseases in city uh, in the moment where like we started to cluster in, in places and did not know what to do with our dejections like the problem that we have like globally with using a lot of drinkable water like in, in ridiculous amount to push our excrements away and do nothing with it but contaminate soil, contaminate water, contaminate like lots of things because we have problems uh, really processing this shit when it's not done composting.